Hi and welcome to our channel IPM Leap. One of the most fascinating tasks in mathematics is to create a magic square. And today I am going to show you how to build a 3 cross 3 and 4 cross 4 magic square. I am going to teach you a super easy method to create these grids and I am sure once you learn it, you will never forget it. So what are magic squares? In simple words, these are square grids, most commonly 3 cross 3 or 4 cross 4, which are filled with numbers. The numbers in every row, every column and across diagonals add up to the same value, which is known as the magic constant. In fact, you may verify for yourself. In this 3 cross 3 grid, whether you take the first row, the second row or the third row, the three numbers will always add up to the value 15. Same holds true for numbers in the columns. Whether you take the first column, the second or the third, numbers add up to the value 15. Also, numbers across the two diagonals add up to 15. It's simply magical. So now that you know why it is called a magic square, let's discuss how to create one. Okay, the objective is clear. We have to arrange the numbers 1, 2, 3 up till 9 in a 3 cross 3 square grid in such a way that each number occurs once and the entries along each column, each row and each of the two diagonals add up to the same value. So let's discuss how to place those numbers so that we are able to create a 3 cross 3 magic square. We will use a very simple and effective memory trick. First, we write the numbers back to back from 1 to 9 in a square. 1, 2 and 3 in the first row, then 4, 5 and 6 and then we write 7, 8 and 9. Next, we have to draw lines diagonally to separate out these numbers. So first line, second line parallel to the first, third line and fourth line. Similarly, now draw lines in the opposite direction. First line, second line parallel to that, third line and fourth line. All the numbers are now separated and we have grid made by these two sets of parallel lines, isn't it? In this grid, we can see that exactly four spaces are vacant or empty. And we can also see that exactly four out of these nine numbers are lying outside this grid. So the next step is to create this magic square is to put these four numbers inside this grid. Okay, let's do that. Let's replicate the grid so that you may see properly what's happening. So first, we will shift 3 from this position to a diagonally opposite position in the grid, which is an empty space. Similarly, we will shift the number 7 from this position to the diagonally opposite position in the grid shown by this arrow. Next, we will shift number 1 to this diagonally opposite position in the grid, which is empty. And finally, we will shift the number 9 to this only remaining position in the grid. That's it. We have got a grid which has numbers as in a magic square. You may write this properly and our magic square will look like this. Now comes the magic constant. In any magic square, the entries along any row, any column, and both diagonals add up to the same value known as the magic constant. Even though we already have the magic square in front of us, for calculating the magic constant, we don't need to look at the numbers in this square. It's pure logic. Since a 3 cross 3 magic square uses numbers from 1 to 9, we first sum up these 9 numbers. The sum is equal to 45. Now, there are 3 rows. So we divide this sum 45 equally over the 3 rows. So each row sum will be equal to 45 divided by 3, which is 15. Easy, isn't it? Okay, so just to appreciate the beauty of a magic square, let's sum up the numbers along each row, each column and both diagonals. 
to see if they add up to the magic constant 15. Row 1, 4 plus 9 plus 2 is equal to 15. Row 2, 3 plus 5 plus 7 is equal to 15. Row 3, 8 plus 1 plus 6 is equal to 15. The columns now. Column 1, 4 plus 3 plus 8 is equal to 15. Column 2, 9 plus 5 plus 1 is equal to 15. And column 3, 2 plus 7 plus 6 is equal to 15. Now the two diagonals. Diagonal 1, 4 plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 15. And diagonal 2, 8 plus 5 plus 2 is also equal to 15. So that was the 3 cross 3 magic square for you. Now there are 8 variations of the same 3 cross 3 square that I am going to explain. First, we need to account for rotational variance. So let's bring each of the four edges of our original square on top, one by one. First, a quarter spin clockwise. This magic square would look like, then a half spin, 180 degree clockwise. This one would look like, and then a spin by three quarters or 270 degrees. This one would look like the following. And next, we reflect these four patterns about a vertical axis. So, there could be eight variations of the same 3 cross 3 magic square. They are all on your screen. Let's move on to a 4 cross 4 magic square. We know the objective. So first things first, how do we create a 4 cross 4 magic square effortlessly? Well, just like we did in the previous case, we write all numbers from 1 to 16 sequentially along a square grid. So 1, 2, 3 and 4 in first row, 5, 6, 7 and 8 in second row, 9, 10, 11 and 12 in third row, and 13, 14, 15 and 16 in the 4th row. Next, we need to shuffle a few of these numbers while keeping the others at their original position. So numbers which stay back are these two, the middle ones, along all edges. We copy 2 and 3. 8 and 12 stay back, we copy 8 and 12. 14 and 15 stay back, we copy 14 and 15. 5 and 9 stay back. So we copy 5 and 9. Next step is to interchange these four corner numbers diagonally. 1 gets interchanged with 16. We write 16 here and 1 here. And 13 gets interchanged with the number 4. We write 13 here and 4 here. Now we just need to fill numbers in the inner square. These original numbers in the inner square get interchanged diagonally for our magic square. So 6 and 11 get interchanged. We write 11 here and 6 here. And 7 and 10 also get interchanged. We write 10 here and 7 here. That completes our magic square. This is what our 4 cross 4 magic square looks like. Just like the 3 cross 3 square, in a 4 cross 4 square, each number from 1 to 16 occurs once. And the entries along each row and each column add up to the same value, the magic constant. Let's calculate it for a 4 cross 4 grid. So we have filled numbers from 1 to 16 in this grid. The sum of these numbers is 136. Divided equally over 4 rows, each row sum will be 136 divided by 4, which is equal to 34. Our magic constant is 34 for a 4 cross 4 magic square. Let's verify. Row 1, 16 plus 2 plus 3 plus 13 is equal to 34. Row 2, 5 plus 11 plus 10 plus 8 is equal to 34. Row 3, 
9 plus 7 plus 6 plus 12 is equal to 34. Row 4. 4 plus 14 plus 15 plus 1 is equal to 34. Also, along the columns, column 1, 16 plus 5 plus 9 plus 4 is equal to 34. Column 2, 2 plus 11 plus 7 plus 14 is equal to 34. Column 3, 3 plus 10 plus 6 plus 15 is equal to 34. Column 4, 13 plus 8 plus 12 plus 1 is also equal to 34. Additionally, in a 4 cross 4 square, the entries along each of the two diagonals, the four quadrants and the four corner squares also add up to the magic constant 34. Would you like to see? The two diagonals 16 plus 11 plus 6 plus 1 is equal to 34 and 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus 13 is equal to 34. The four quadrants quadrant 1 16 plus 2 plus 5 plus 11 is equal to 34. Quadrant 2 3 plus 13 plus 10 plus 8 is equal to 34. Quadrant 3 9 plus 7 plus 4 plus 14 is equal to 34. And Quadrant 4 6 plus 12 plus 15 plus 1 is equal to 34. And finally, the four corners. 16 plus 13 plus 4 plus 1 is equal to 34. The magic constant. That brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to subscribe our channel and like and share our videos. For any doubts or queries, drop in a comment on this video page below. We'll be glad to address them. Hope you all stay safe, happy and healthy always. Take care and happy learning.